The BJT is in the saturation mode, or is said to be saturated, when the collector to base pin junction is forward biased. So the collector to base junction, this pin junction here, is forward biased. We need to pay close attention to the polarity. When the junction is forward biased, the collector voltage, the voltage at the collector, is less than the voltage at the base in order for this to be forward biased. Thus, VCB, the voltage from the collector to the base, is negative. We know from our study of the PN junction that appreciable current starts to flow when the forward biased voltage is around 0.4 to 5, to 0.5 volts. Once again, looking at an NPN transistor with electrons as the, as the majority carrier, where both the emitter and the collector are heavily doped n-type regions, um, the majority carrier is then the, the majority carrier is the uh, electrons, and the junction voltage allows electrons from the heavily doped collector to flow freely into the um, base. So with a voltage plus to minus, because now the collector is less than the base voltage, this PN junction is forward biased, and electrons flow freely into the base from the collector. Now, the, this PN junction was already forward biased, so electrons were flowing freely this way also. And we end up with a situation where the base is effectively flooded with electrons. The relatively lightly doped base is inundated with um, electrons. A relatively few of those electrons recombine with the holes and effectively saturate or pair up with all of the holes so that all the covalent bonds are are filled and the base becomes effectively becomes a um, a depletion region as a depletion region the base then basically loses its characteristic of p type doping and the entire transistor then is flooded or saturated with electrons the current to the transistor is no longer controlled by the base to emitter voltage. Instead, the current through the transistor is established by the surrounding circuitry. The voltage across this, this saturated transistor from collector to emitter can be determined by the individual um, junction voltages. Let's just assume that the base to emitter voltage is still on the order of 0.7 volts. And this now is forward, forward biased plus to minus, say, on the order of about 0.4 volts, maybe to 0.5 volts. Then the voltage from the collector to the emitter, VCE, is equal to plus 7 tenths of a volt, but then we drop 4 to 5 tenths of a volt. VCE will be on the order of 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.2 to 0.3 volts. That voltage across the saturated resistor is re or transistor is referred to as VCE sat. It's the saturation voltage of the transistor, and it's relatively constant for values of current that be flowing through it. Again, those, those currents are established by the circuitry around the, um, around the transistor. In saturation, I sub C is no longer equal to beta I sub B. In fact, I sub C will be much less than beta times I sub B. We define a new beta, I sub C over I sub B under saturated conditions is referred to, that ratio is referred to as the forced beta. And the forced beta is significantly less than the active region beta. We're going to use that fact along with the relatively small saturation voltage across here to help us determine the mode of operation of the transistor. If the ratio of the collector to base currents is much less than beta, and if the voltage across the transistor is on the order of two to three tenths of a volt, then we know that the transistor is in saturation.